Hey guys, today I'm doing something crazy. <laughs> uh, after the video of the PAL world trying to run it with 8 gigabytes of RAM, I thought, you know what would be really funny? If I tried to run it with 4 gigs of RAM instead. Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Road 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing Power World on the Intel Core i3-10105 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. I'm running with 4 gigabytes of RAM in single channel memory. Just one 4 gig stick. Will this run? Let's find out. We're going to do it live. We are literally doing it live. I will be very shocked if this comes on. I don't know what's going to happen. I wanted to see the, the ride with you guys. So we'll see if it runs. If it does, I'm running at the 720 by 480 resolution as well. Because, you know, I wanted to give myself a chance. Everything is basically the same as what I did last time, basically. Wow, we got to the main menu. Will it crash? Will it crash? I think it crashed surprisingly we got to the main menu that was that was that was crazy for me <laughs> but you know I, I i'm getting people who ask about four gigabytes of ram as well which i'm like this is ridiculous guys this is, this is kind of ridiculous don't do this so we tested it with four gigs and apparently oh crap it's coming on oh no you're you're joking this is not playable at all guys i i, I wouldn't recommend this this is this is pain this is pain this is pain but it is it, it does seem to be launching it didn't crash I can hear I can hear music. Oh snap. What is this gonna run like? Show me everything guys. Come on. We are using the extreme low end config as well. And boy oh boy, this is power of four gigs of RAM. Holy crap on integrated graphics. This is insanity. Absolutely insanity. It actually came on. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys requested this, and I have obliged. As you can see, this is not playable. 8GB surprised me because 8GB actually, you could actually play with the 8GB. You're getting a lot of frame drops with 8GB of RAM, but at least it ran. You know, even in single channel, it still ran somewhat, somewhat playable there. Dual channel, much better. But this, this, this is unplayable, dude. Like a 1 and 2 FPS, it's rough. I'm also using a capture card, so nothing is actually... Oh, crap. Things are actually still loading in. That's why. I'm actually using a capture card as well. So, yeah, the performance isn't being affected at all. But, yeah, like... This is what we get. This is Power World, guys. This is this is, this is is the life we live. Four gigabytes of RAM. I keep waiting for this game to crash on me at some point. It hasn't. I'm surprised by this. I'm starving and dying. And I can't actually... I, I legitimately can't go into the start menu or the game crashes will crash anyway. So... It's like, I feel like you'll just witness me die. Look at this. It's it's trying its hardest. Now, keep in mind, this is a, this is what a, a decent CPU and a decent Intel UHD graphics is a 630 and the i3 are nothing to scoff at. So they're necessarily what's pulling and pushing this so far. If you have something like a two-core CPU and maybe Intel HD 4000 series or something like that, guys, no, well, we can't even run it at that point. But the Intel HD 620 is probably going to struggle as well, especially if you have it on the i3 7100U, which is why I didn't do the video on the i3. I'm going to die. Well, hopefully it lets me respond somewhere properly now, and I'll, I'll move from there. I guess. But yeah, this this might be my last video on Pal World. I'm not sure yet. I'm still I'm still on the fence. You guys really like Pal World, apparently. I don't know. And here I am doing the crazy stuff. But 4 gigs of RAM does run. It, it does run. It's not recommended. I'm guessing if you have a graphics card, it'd probably be a bit better. I, I don't see how it could be, but, you know. But yeah, once again, you guys wanted to see Power World on 4 gigs of RAM? Here it is. It runs. Terribly. It stutters every, like, 3 seconds. It's It's completely unplayable. Completely unplayable. Not worth, not worth the effort to even try to download this game to test it with 4 gigs of RAM. It's like, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing? Like, what kind of enjoyment do you get out of this? <laughs> what kind of sick enjoyment are you getting out of this, man? 8 gigabytes of RAM is a minimum. Even if it's single channel, like I said, 8 gigabytes of RAM is fine. 4, 4 is a stretch. 4 is a stretch. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that once again. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you guys enjoy. If you guys actually want to see me test more games with 4GB of RAM, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me test. 
and leave a like on the, the, the video. That'd be very interesting. I am curious about this. I do have this 4 gig stick of RAM, obviously, so it's like, I probably would try it out and see what, 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 what works, what doesn't, you know? If you guys really wanted to see that type of stuff. But I recommend 16 gigabytes bare minimum these days when you're trying to play games, especially if you have integrated graphics. It's, it, it just, it just, if you have, if you're that low end already with integrated graphics, get some RAM, man. RAM's, RAM isn't really expensive like that. I don't know, man. I'm struggling with this, but RAM is like, RAM is like 40 bucks, maybe. So yeah, it, it runs. I'll see you guys next time, man.